wherever you want to go. The sky's the limit. Uh, and I always try to come with a topic too, so we'll go back and forth between the two. Uh, I'm sorry for being a few minutes late. My computer decided it needed to install updates tonight, so that's life. Um, and we tried to bring out a really old computer, and the second we did, it like sped up because, you know, I guess it felt like we were going to forget it. Um, so as we dive in tonight, uh, our Q&A each week is um, a, a fun time for you to jump in with whatever questions you have and comments you have, but it's also a fun time for folks to chime in and share um, what has been helping you and to help others with questions too. So tonight's topic uh, and where I thought we would go is couponing without the stress. We've covered this a few times, but um, what I see a lot of times is that folks will dive in with both feet uh, and you know basically drown um, in the first couple of months and then give up. And they decide, you know what, I cannot handle that. It's too much work. Um, I believe me, I've heard every excuse that there is in terms of why people don't coupon, um, but really this should be incredibly easy. It should not be something that's stressing you out. It should be something that's just second nature. This is just how we shop, but it doesn't take any extra time. Uh, and that's what I wish I could get across to everybody. Like we don't need to make this some extreme um, we quit our jobs and all we do is go to the grocery store and seven grocery stores every day. That's intense. You're right. Um, but it doesn't need to be that. And so that's what I want us to hit on tonight is to talk about just how to save money on your groceries and, and cut your budget without feeling like you've lost half of your brain or half of your life trying to keep up with all the deals that are out there. Um, so hello to everyone that's chiming in. Uh, it's good to see everybody uh, and have everybody on as well. Um, so as we jump in, um, you know, Sheila's even saying, I never get the coupons to work. So yeah, all of that can be, as you're trying to get started, it can be incredibly stressful. Um, so let's just try to hit it all from the start. I've made a list of where I want us to go. But if you've got questions, we'll go there too. So if you're new, if you've never joined in before, leave your questions in the comments and either I will see them or my husband will see them. And between the two of us, um, we will hopefully get your question answered. That's the goal. Or between all the other folks that are in on the comments, which is incredibly helpful too. So, and I love it. So Tawana says, yes, this is our way of life now. I wish I'd known years ago. That's where I want people to get. Like, so for us, I don't go to the grocery store without my shopping list. This is how we shop. Uh, and when we do, this was a big trip for us. This was our Publix trip this week, which I did share in a video for you guys on the Facebook side. I never uploaded it on the YouTube. I'll try to do that tonight um, because the Publix seals are good and for the whole rest of the week. But even when we checked out, the cashier said, whoa, you guys got a lot. I'm like, yeah, we did. It was a big week. But everything here was on sale because that's how we shop. So it's changing the way that you approach the grocery store so that all you need to do really is handle um, what's on sale and not, not need to struggle with anything else. Just follow the list, basically, going down and grabbing the deals. That's our goal. But there's some ways that you can take some stress out of this, too. The biggest one being um, how you choose to organize and and pulling your list and all of that from the very beginning. So for a little bit, I want to talk about, I guess, in a way, some features of Southern Savers. Are you, make, are you using the site the best that you possibly could? Because the list that we're putting together should take away 90% of the work. I can't cut your coupons for you. But I'm basically trying to do everything else humanly possible for you. Um, so to dive in on that side of things, um, I'm going to share my screen and show you what I mean uh, and then sh and talk to you about the list, really. Um, so if you were going to come to Southern Savers and you wanted to pull up your deals, uh, then you would start here. Uh, this is just the top of the site. I know I'm kind of in the way uh, with my with my face up here, but basically at the top of the site, you'll see a number of options and you can come and pick the store that you want to shop at. Now, I've already picked the Publix list, um, but just to kind of give you the idea, there's a lot of lists here. Um, so just to show you here, a lot of different tabs, but the main tab is the grocery ad. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or how often you even come. But one of the newer features, we added this um, probably mid last year, was the dollar or less tab. 
And you can actually come here and anything that I have flagged on the back end as being a super, super good deal, those are the only things that are going to show up on this far tab. So if life is super stressful and you do not have time to go through a really huge, long Publix ad, don't. Just go straight to the dollar or less tab. Let's focus on just the good stuff. Um, for those of you who are trying to get started, this is a great place to get started because this is the, the, the place that's going to kind of set you up for that easy, fun win. Um, you know, let's start with the 99 cent deals and the freebies. It's all of those things right there together. Um, and you're good to pull them. So from here, you just check the little boxes right next to items. Uh, and I know that's super small if you're watching on your phone, but if you head to the site, so head to Southern Savers, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, once you check your boxes, I've already got it pulled up for the sake of time. It's like, you know, Martha Stewart's oven. Uh, I've already checked all my little boxes. So this is my actual shopping list for Publix when we went shopping this past Wednesday. This is what happens. At the bottom of the list, there's a box to create list, and I've pulled over everything that we plan to buy. Now, I saw... Um, uh, LA Bakes says uh, that it's frustrating to not receive the same coupons in our area um, that are advertised as coming. And I understand that is a huge frustration for everyone. They're different in every area. Uh, and, you know, just to show you that too, my inserts, um, I rarely get the local paper and every now and then it shows up. We do pay for a local paper and then we have to call them and say, it didn't come this week. It didn't come this week. But normally, this is how my inserts come, and they came today. They always come on Monday. Um, so I have inserts from a larger city than my own, and that might be the solution for you if you want to go this route. Uh, the number one question after I mention this every time is, where do I get these from? Um, so I get mine from SundayCouponInserts.com. But you can get your local paper, too. In Southern Savers, one thing that can maybe take away some stress when you're logged in is at the top of the site, you can come and I can come and edit my profile. And let's just open that in another window. Uh, and you can actually select what newspapers you get. So let me scroll down so you can see that. So here you can select from all the newspapers. If you don't see your city listed there, these are done by volunteers. So I may not have a volunteer in your area. I'm always willing to add volunteers just takes, a, you know, I would guess, maybe 30, 45 minutes to compare the list. Um, and just a note, as you can see, you can select multiples, but do that. And then when you do that, if it's not in my insert, it goes away. So there will be coupons that were in, ooh, I didn't, I didn't mean to click on one, um, to show you up here. I have it actually only, it's hiding anything that wasn't in my area. But if I unclick this, um, there would be coupons that were not in my matchups or not in my inserts that would then instantly appear in my shopping list. So you can basically only make it show what was in your insert. Okay. Uh, and again, Marina, I get it um, from SundayCouponInserts.com. Thank you, Jen, for typing that in. Um, it's very helpful. I, I'm not very good at typing and talking at the same time. Okay. So I've gone through, I clicked the boxes, I pulled it all to a shopping list. This is as easy as it gets because now you can print what the shopping list tells you to print and then cut what the shopping list tells you to cut. And one way to do that even faster if you're not already using it is the quick cutting guide that's at the bottom. Um, so the quick cutting guide takes all the insert coupons from the list, everything that was in each of these items on the list, and it pulls them down and organizes them by date. Let me see how big I can make that for those of you who are on your phone. Um, so you can see everything. This is a really old insert, but everything by date, what insert it was. The reason for that, if you are really trying to de-stress on couponing, the way that you organize your coupons is going to save you so much time and stress. So this is what I do. This is actually the box that I'm currently using. Um, but you can do this in an accordion file folder as well. This is just a hanging file box. So I take the inserts that I just opened from my mail and everything from one Sunday is going to go in the same pocket together. I don't cut these. I mean, I just opened the mail in front of you. I'm not going to cut them. I'm not going to do anything to them except do one thing. Uh, somewhere on the front, write the date really big. You want to do that because if you don't, um, 
you're going to end up having to look a thousand times in the dates on there. It's just really, really tiny and nobody has time for that. So take a second, write the date really big on the front, and then I'm going to shove all of these in a pocket and I'm done. I have organized my coupons, moving on with my day. When my shopping list tells me, I'm going to come and cut them, but not until the item shows up on my shopping list. Um, and that, guys, that's part of playing the game. So some people will say, but what happens if you didn't end up using the coupon? Well, if I didn't end up using the coupon, it means that the item never came on sale. And really our goal is to only buy it when it's on sale. It's not to buy it because I have a coupon. It's to buy it because it's on sale. So if I went in, um, you know, with this $2 off Biore that came in yesterday's paper and you just start buying Biore that's full price, you're really not getting a deal. I want to wait until it's on sale, until it shows up on my shopping list. And then I want to cut the coupon and head to the store. So least amount of time required is keeping them whole. Now, not everybody organizes this way. Um, you know, for some people, it just stresses them out that their coupons are not with them because, guys, I am not hauling this thing all the way to the store. Um, this is way too heavy. And would, who's going to sit there in the middle of the store cutting coupons out of their inserts? No, you're going to cut whatever the shopping list tells you to cut. So you're going to follow that quick cutting guide. You're going to go down um, and cut all the items. Uh, let's see, here we go. All the things that the quick cutting guide tells you to cut. And then organize your coupons before you head out to the store uh, and you're done. You're not going to need your inserts in the store. You're just going to take your list with the coupons that you've cut and printed early. So um, we're not, I wasn't really planning on going through organization as a whole, but I did want to explain that because how you organize your coupons, if you're choosing to put them in a huge binder, uh, that's stressful. I, and I can't speak for everybody. I taught a workshop this past Thursday and there was a lady there that had four binders and that's how she lived. And that just makes me need to go into a dark room and close my eyes for like an hour. Just the idea of that. Um, I, it's just crazy. So I can't handle that, but we're all different. So it's how you choose to organize your coupons, but the least amount of time required is going to be the least stressful. And since that's the topic tonight, uh, then we're going to stop there. We aren't going to go into how to organize your binder because, yeah, you just need to find somebody else if that's what you want. Um, but you want to try to get organized uh, in a way that is the most efficient. So going with the quick cutting guide, going with um, making the shopping list and just cutting what this list tells you to cut is the easiest way to go. Now, I've confessed this before, but for me, what I do, and I... I could kick myself. Somebody in my Publix hopefully found it and I don't know, put it to use. But this past week in Publix, I set my shopping list down and walked away. And when I came back, it was gone. Um, so I don't actually have the actual printout that I had used. I have a new printout for you guys. But normally for me, when I go through and I cut the coupons, I write right next to it how many I plan to buy. So I write a two here or a one here um, so that when I get to the store, I don't need to do anything. And let me, I'll make that go away just so you can see, but like a two next to each item. So all I need to do is sit there and look in the store, wait, uh, you know, to buy two of this, buy three of this, buy one of this. So I don't need to get the coupons out. I don't need to look at what the coupons were. The shopping list tells me everything that I need to grab. And um, it's just super fast. You're just a normal person with a normal shopping list in the store. But one thing that I do before I go as well, and this is what I meant by I've confessed this before, this quick cutting guide when we built it, I really built it for my kids uh, because I print the shopping list and I hand them this shopping list and the quick cutting guide and their job is to cut all my insert coupons. And while they cut my insert coupons, I print my printables uh, and then they cut those too. But what I'll usually do on the quick cutting guide is actually tell them to cut two of this, cut two of this, cut four of this, you know, however many I plan to buy. I do have four sets of inserts. That is on the extreme side if you do not have a big family. So there are seven of us in this household. Four sets of inserts is more than plenty for the seven of us. Um, but if there are not seven people in your household, the more inserts you have, the more stress you are adding to this process. Um, but having them handle all the cutting 
makes this so much faster. Uh, I've got three that I fully trust with that cutting and one that I will trust with printables. She's really good with printables uh, and one that we give expired coupons to and she loves to help, but she has not moved on to legit coupons yet. Um, she doesn't know that we're not going to use them, so don't tell her, but she loves to help. So with this, uh, we're cut and with all of us chipping in, we're usually cut and ready to go in maybe 20 minutes. Uh, obviously, you probably don't have quite so many hands to hand out scissors to, but um, still, this is still the pretty quick way to go uh, in terms of getting everything together. Um, so, uh, you know, as folks are talking about um, how to, you know, all the differences and inserts, I know the frustrations. Wendy's saying, again, I didn't get the CoverGirl coupon. So um, part of it really is switching up um, where your inserts are coming from and possibly going with a bigger area. Um, to be able to do that, I'm checking to see what all I got. Um, but between the two, I can already tell you that the ones that came in the mail, yep, here you go, Wendy. They weren't in my local paper, but they did exist. So I'm sorry that you didn't get them yet again in your area. Um, but yes, we see massive variations. So the, the typical rule of thumb for inserts is that the bigger the city, the more coupons are in that city's paper. So if you're able to get an insert, you know, maybe you live outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, and you're getting your local Rock Hill paper, but you could get the Charlotte paper, you want the Charlotte paper. Uh, the bigger the city, the more coupons are in that city's paper. So that's the, the typical rule of thumb to follow in terms of other local papers to grab. Okay, Sharonda says, what website are we talking about? So the list, Sharonda, that it, we that I have pulled up is from Southern Savers. So if you go to southernsavers.com, you will see a list of all the current deals. Right now I have Publix pulled up, but we actually cover um, 30 stores. Um, as you And you can just pick the store that you want, go down the list and pull up the ad for the store. Um, Walmart, Target, drug stores, it doesn't matter. There's always a current list. There's also, for some stores, always an unadvertised deals list and um, previews. So I get the drugstore ads up on Thursday. They start on Sunday. So you've got a few days heads up before the new ad starts. Target's ad, I've been pushing up on Thursday nights lately. Um, so hopefully you get a little bit of a heads up on that and you can get ready at least. Um, Diana says, what do you think about apps to help you keep track of coupons? Um, so, and I agree, <laughs> but I kind of agree with Carrie. So I know a lot of people that do sit there and scan their coupons into apps or try to use apps to keep tabs of things. The hard part is that those apps don't factor in variations at all. So you have to tell it all the ones that you have, uh, and then you have to tell it when you've used them. Uh, that's a lot of work. For me, when I'm making my list, occasionally I'm going to come and say and tell my kids, like, oh, cut two of this, cut two of this. And they're going to pull that out and say they weren't there. We've already cut them. But most of the time, you're going to see it on the list and you're going to realize that you've already cut it. Also, the other thing to notice here, um, this is my public shopping list from 410. Okay, It's from this week. Insert-wise, I had one coupon on this quick cutting guide. One that is from a January insert. Let's see if I can hold that to where you can read it. And then the next one is March 17th. So nothing was in between uh, the end of January and March 17th on this week's Publix ad that we were grabbing. There may be some February coupons there that were things that I didn't end up purchasing. But most of the time, you're going to be using coupons that are within the last month, uh, and you're going to use them, and then you're going to end up getting new ones within the next little bit. So it's not um, – you're going to have so much turnover with new coupons and the ones you're using that keeping all of that going in an app – um, is going to be a lot of work in the end to really keep that up, uh, that app current. Um, what do I think about clipping services to save time? So, Terry, you could go that route. Um, there's a, a website that I've used in the past called thecouponclippers.com. you got to put the V in the front. And you order pre-clipped coupons rather than whole inserts. You could go that route, and you could order exactly what you needed for this week's Publix ad. The hard part is that a lot of times you've got a heads up of maybe two days. I post the public ad on, a lot of times I get it up on Sunday. Um, I don't actually put the post up on Monday, but it's usually live, meaning that if you were um, here on the public's page, 
the tab for it is live. I haven't told people that it's there, but it's usually there on Sunday. Um, so if you were to order them on Sunday, in theory, they would be in your mailbox by Wednesday, but you may not have them on the first day of the ad. That's the only hard part with a clipping service is how quickly you can get them if you are wanting to shop earlier in the week. Um, you know, if you're fine with waiting, then you could definitely do that. I think in the end, it may be cheaper for you to just get the insert so that you have all the coupons to then turn around and use others in drugstore deals or other stores. Um, but you could definitely do it if you wanted to um, overall. So Delane, in terms of ordering inserts, the cost is about uh, the same price as getting a Sunday paper. It's not a cost savings in, um, to order these inserts from Sunday coupon insert. It is the same price that I would normally pay for my local paper. It is just so that I don't have to run to town to get extra papers and that ours rarely comes. We got one this Sunday and humorously, it was in our neighbor's mailbox. And the only way we knew that was that we ended up at the mailbox with our neighbor at the same time. And he said, hey, is this your paper? No. So the paper guy just does not like us. I'm not sure what we did, um, but does not like us at all. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's an option. It is not a money saving option when it comes to ordering lists. Um, let's see. Oh, great. So Tammy says her favorite is the unadvertised list um, to be able to save even more money. So these are all the deals, and they're usually the deals that I found in my local store, but they should be running in yours too. The only difference is clearance deals. So if you are going to use the list um, in this top section, just realize that those can vary by store, but most of the other deals, BOGOs and whatnot, are going to run in all areas. So, And there's a ton of unadvertised BOGOs this week at Publix. It's a massively long unadvertised BOGO list. Uh, which is great. Okay, let's jump through some other uh, ways to help you start. Um, oh, the states, Brandy. Oh, um, so these guys, these are from, usually from all over. South Florida, um, I don't even know where that's from. It lists a bunch of little tiny cities. Uh, I'm going to guess it's from up north somewhere, but it's from wherever they get them from, uh, and I'm not sure where all the, they are. But South Florida is a chunk of them. So it, it's, you just get what you get, I guess. But most of them are the same from Sunday coupon inserts. Okay, um, let's jump through a few other things. So one other, op, one other thing to talk about here in terms of using the shopping list, heading to the store, buying what's on sale is in terms of taking stress out, guys, to remember that it will come on sale again. And if you are trying to go to the store and you're trying to buy all the parcel that Walgreens sells, you can do that. But I mean, really, once you have 30 bottles of detergent at home, what's your plan? You know, you don't need to keep getting more detergent. So there needs to either be an off switch somewhere or there needs to be a point where you realize, you know what, I just got to stay stocked. That's my goal. So there will be weeks and people will ask me, hey, are you going to go shopping this week? Like, yeah, I got four or five things, but the goal is to stay stocked. It's not to do a massive trip and um, to head in and try to get all of these things every single time. If I don't need them, we aren't going to get them. Uh, I have a walk-in pantry that's right behind me. I have a freezer in the garage. So I've got six weeks worth of food. My goal is to look at the list on Southern Savers to see what do I need, what are we close to running out of that we wouldn't have another six weeks worth to buy those items and make sure that I have enough to stay stocked for another six weeks. Grocery sales run on a six week cycle. Now this week is the only exception and a lot of the things that are on sale this week we will not see on sale again until Thanksgiving. So not trying to stress you out, but just to be honest, you know, Edwards Pies or BOGO, and we've got an Ibotta right now, you're not going to see that matchup again until November. They probably won't even be BOGO again until November, but you're definitely not going to have a coupon to pair with them until November. So if you're wanting to have a couple extra pies over, we, or pies in the freezer, we love to have folks over after Sunday uh, for Sunday lunch. Well, that's an easy, perfect dessert. So Yes, I will use all five of my limit five on the Edwards Ibotta and buy five Edwards pies and stick them in the freezer. I'll try to not tell my children that they're there because they'll be asking for them every Sunday. 
but it's an easy instant dessert if we did have folks over. So I, I want to stock up on that. Five pies is, sounds like a ton, you know, when you're only shopping for six weeks, are you going to eat a pie every week? Maybe not, but you get the point. It's not coming back on sale until Thanksgiving. And there are some other things there too. Um, uh, oh, Karen says she went to buy it and they didn't have any chocolate left. So Karen, if they're out of one flavor, you can get a rain check. They do not have to be out of all of them. They just need to be out of one type. So you can go up to customer service and say, hey, I wanted to buy a chocolate mousse Edwards pie and you don't have any more. They will write you a rain check with for just Edwards pies, really not for chocolate Edwards pies, um, but you will still be able to get a rain check. So don't let it hold you back get a rain check. And they probably are going to get two more trucks before this ad ends. So you could try back too if you want it as well. Okay. Um, to jump through some other questions, I'm getting a little behind. Uh, sorry guys. Um, it, let's see. I saw someone ask about hello um, and the meal services. What was the other one that you mentioned? Oh, hello fresh and blue apron. Um, so Miss J, what we did with those is, uh, we did sign up, we did the trial because the trial makes it a really good price and then we canceled. Um, they're good meals. The hard part is they weren't big enough for our family. Um, and you know, anyone in a large family is always going to run into that with the mail order meals. Uh, so I ended up giving them to my mom uh, because she doesn't have five children that are always trying to eat with her. But um, for me, I found that price-wise, I could get any, all of those ingredients a lot cheaper. The other negative that I had on them is the, so, the serving size on meat in that they would send this little tiny package of chicken and that was supposed to serve four people. And we're just left with like, I don't think that's even going to serve one and a half people. Um, so the meat sizes were a problem. This was um, Blue Apron. I want to say that we had tried. Uh, we have not tried HelloFresh. They're all probably about the same. I would just say if you can't get a promo code for it, odds are it's going to be way out of your price range when it comes to comparing that to grocery store sale prices. So um, just to consider that uh, probably not being the route that you'd want to go. Okay, and then a few other questions. Do I recommend sites like Ebates? Yes. Um, if you're shopping online, anytime that you're shopping online, getting cash back from those purchases is great, uh, and you can do that. So Ebates, Ibotta offers it. Um, Top Cash Back is another one. And then remember, you can still use coupon codes with those sites and still pay with a credit card that's going to give you rewards. So you're kind of getting to triple dip there, pairing in the credit cards, uh, rewards, the Ebates cashback, and using coupon codes on top of it all. You're welcome to do all three uh, and do really well, uh, kind of make that online deal even better. Um, so Miss J says, I don't shop at CVS because it seems more expensive than Rite Aid, and the reward system is confusing. Um, so with drugstores, and in terms of just a de-stress answer on that one for tonight, um, I would recommend that you just pick one. So if you already understand one and you're happy with it, I'd go with that. Now, for me, I'm slightly sad because we don't have Rite Aids anymore. Their deals are great. Uh, Price-wise, I think they're probably about the same as CVS uh, when we're looking at regular price. All the drugstores are crazy expensive when we're talking regular price deals. Um, but if you figured out the Rite Aid system, I would stick with it. You only need to shop one drugstore. So that's another, it actually, I, I'm just using your question to like play off my, my list here. Um, it, that's another one that a lot of folks are completely driving themselves crazy trying to go to Publix for these things and go to Kroger for these deals and whatever. Pick one grocery store and one drugstore and that's it. Uh, everything will come on sale at the store that you pick. Yes, there may be some crazy good deal on something at the other store, but it's going to come on sale at the store that you've picked in just a few more weeks. Uh, and you know, as an example, this week we could go to Kroger and get, I think it's Kotex, like pads and tampons and whatnot. They're 99 cents a box. Guys, we, first we see that, that deal at Kroger all the time, but we also see that same deal in Publix, if you're just waiting, Publix puts out an Advantage by Flyer coupon. We have a manufacturer's coupon. So it's not that they line up week for week, 
but it doesn't mean that I have to run in for every sale on something either. I'm going to find it in the store that I'm already shopping in. So one grocery store and one drug store, and that's going to save you a lot of time as well. Uh, drug store wise, I tend to point people to CVS because I feel like it's the easiest to get started with. Um, but if you've already figured one out, stick with it. Plus having only one set of rewards that you have to keep up with and make sure you don't let expire is going to be a big help for you too. Because trying to run out the door and remember that you've got extra care bucks that expire today, that is not very fun uh, on top of having to keep up with all the other drugstores too. And then Katie says, Easter snuck up on me. Where's the best place to buy Easter candy right now? Well, Katie, I'm going to just let you play into my next point. So if you are um, in that boat, you need something, it is not on sale, please use this handy dandy little item search on the site. That's what it's there for so that you can type whatever it is that you're needing. It's always on the right hand sidebar. Uh, it's also if you are logged into the site, it's, um, let me see, where are we? It's at the very, I already had it open here to save us some time, um, but it's always at the very top bar of the site way up here too. So you can always come and find what you're looking for with the item search. It's also in the Southern Savers mobile app. Um, so she's asking for candy deals. We can come in and we can type candy. Now I have my profile set to only show me five stores, um, but I'm gonna undo that so you can see all of them. Uh, and you'll see candy, Just that's all I searched was just the word candy. Uh, it's going to show you a number, but you could also go brand specific here too if you wanted. So you could search for Mars, you could search for Hershey's. Uh, right now I will tell you the most coupons that we have are for M&M's and Mars. So I would stick in that realm. Everyone's give, getting M&M's this Easter. Um, that's definitely where Mars wanted us to be. Uh, but it's going to show you all the current deals. Cheapest price um, uh, is... Probably at Walgreens for M&M's. Walgreens has bags of M&M's um, for a dollar. Target does have some candy um, cartwheels available along with manufacturer's coupons, so you could go Target as well. Um, but between Walgreens or Target is probably where I would head. Um, Publix, for that matter, though, does have um, BOGO. Um, that's Hershey's. They have a different one. I guess let's search for Mars. Um, or no, it was Snickers. They do have um, a BOGO at Publix that pairs in with Mars coupons. There we go. Um, with that dollar off too. So you, these are the fun size bags. Um, oh, sorry, I keep getting in the way. Uh, these are the fun size bags. They are buy one, get one at $1.89. And then you can use all those dollar off two coupons uh, and end up paying $1.39 for Snickers, Twix, Mars Minis, etc. They're all in the Mars family. So the, any of those... Uh, and then Carrie's saying toys. So there's a ton of Hasbro, Carrie, that is today only on Amazon. But the other route would be to go to Target for toys. Um, Target is running toy coupons this week in the Target weekly ad. If you don't get the weekly ad, they're in the Target app. So you can open up your Target app uh, and you can, um, under wallet in the Target app, you can pull them up and uh, use them right at the register. Um, I'm pulling mine up really quick because even I can't keep them straight. One is a 10 off 50 in um, toys and the other one's higher. Uh, and I, I, my brain has forgotten already, I've moved on from that ad, but I wanna say it was like 25 off of 100 uh, in toys, so it's a lot. There's also a gift card deal on Legos this week. Buy $50 worth of Legos and get a $10 gift card. Keep in mind the Target gift card or the Target coupon always excludes Legos, so you can't pair those guys together, but that's definitely um, the best option. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, so Teresa says, I feel like I'm missing deals if I only shop at one store. I keep th thinking I need a Kroger intervention. Uh, so what I would say, Teresa, is more looking at your pantry, not looking at the sales on this one. Like, Take a step back and assess where you are in your pantry. Do you need items? You know, Have you reached a point where the tomato sauce doesn't fit on the shelf that you have assigned for tomato sauce? You know, How many times in the next six weeks are you going to need it? Because we do see the deals repeat a ton, especially if you're shopping multiple stores. Um, so in the end, you know, here's a great example. 
Last week, two weeks ago, Publix had ragu simply pasta, pasta sauce, like 20 cents a jar. This week, we could go to Target and get ragu simply pasta sauce for 16 cents a jar. We just saw that deal two weeks ago in Publix. You could do it again. It's a different deal with different Ibotta and um, a cartwheel offer. But at some point, you got enough pasta sauce because you just did it two weeks ago. And guess what? It'll be back on sale in another two weeks or a different pasta will or pasta sauce will. So you kind of get the idea in terms of the fact that we really do see them on sale at every store. Now, even to pull a Target example into that, because Target's not really where we normally head to for groceries. It's kind of a hit and miss treasure hunt. But it gives you a great example of the same deal rolling back around just a couple weeks later. Um, oh, so uh, let's talk Ibotta for a minute. A, a few of you guys are asking about Ibotta and um, linking your card in. Uh, and I forgot to pull up my phone. So I'm going to try to do that really quick so that um, you can see my phone as we go. And we'll see if I can. There we go. Oh. Um, so with Ibotta, um, if you head into the app and you've linked your card, so the first question was, how do I link Publix? And then the second question was, how do I unlink Kroger? Um, and I will uh, try to answer both, um, here in a second. It's, it's not, um, being super speedy. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Um, okay. So to show you my phone, this is Ibotta as we come in. To link Publix, all you need to do is come in, and at the top of the site, mine already says that my account is linked, but you come in and you log in with your online Publix account. So the same login that you would use to load digital coupons at Publix.com, you're going to enter here and link your Publix account. Now, the other question was, how do I come in and unlink my Kroger account? Guys, they don't want you to do that. Um, so if you want to unlink your account, um, there really isn't a way, and I will tell you long term, their goal is um, for all cards, all systems to be automatically linked and to not have receipt scanning and barcode scanning. So they're choosing to do that because they feel like that's easier for folks. It does miss things. And it makes you miss things. Um, for example, I tested this last week just to make sure, but I went to Publix, I did buy something, and I didn't unlock the offer until after I had purchased it, and I did not get that offer back. And I unlocked it maybe 30 minutes after the purchase. So it wasn't this huge time span, but I did not get that offer in my redemptions. So it does have to be unlocked before you purchase. We're, so the reason I tested it is Saving Star. It doesn't have to be. There are some card-based stores in Saving Star that really you can make sure you've unlocked it. Within an hour, two hours, you will still get that money back in your Saving Star account. I have not had that luck with Ibotta. Um, now, I've only done that once, and you guys may have had a different experience. So if any of you have redeemed something, um, that you unlocked, basically, meaning that you clicked the little plus sign and you loaded it to your account, or I don't know, I don't ever read these, so I've unlocked that offer. Uh, if you've had experience where you did unlock it after the purchase and you still got the money back, I would love to hear it, but for me, I didn't. Um, so the going, um, the going card base is helpful for folks as long as you've unlocked the offers. So there's a few ways that you can handle Ibotta now because they've done this. And guys, really, in terms of you know keeping on our theme here, this should be taking a lot of stress off of you. You don't have to come home and do anything. Uh, if you're in a card-based store, which is a ton of them now, so if we were to look at this, um, Publix, Kroger, uh, uh, Food Lion, it's funny that it says in-store, but Food Lion, there is a way to link your card, or there used to be. They were, uh, yeah, um, view your loyalty card, so... Lowe's Foods is card-based, Rite Aid um, is card-based, uh, just a ton of options, and that's just in my area. I have it only showing me my stores, um, and then others that you can link your loyalty card, a whole section there. Um, that's to take time off of you, because they're telling 
I bought what you bought, not you having to do the work. The hard part that people are having frustrations with is that sometimes when you buy three or four of something, they're not telling that you bought as many as you really did. Uh, and so that's one where some people are like, no, I want to go back or the time that it's taking to wait um, for that money to deposit is a little longer than when it used to be when you just scanned your receipt. It's like two days where it used to be like six hours. So um, hopefully you kind of get it. Uh, and yes, Carrie, you're right. It's very cost effective for them to go with this automatic route versus the receipt scanning. That's the... It, it's, it's across the board, um, you know, a, a big push for them. Uh, and I mentioned this recently, and it may have been in a workshop and not with you guys, um, but the new Ibotta Pay that they're pushing to a lot of folks, it hasn't even come out yet, but when you first log in, um, you're getting this kind of pop-up about uh, Ibotta Pay. That's going to be uh, along the same lines. That's the goal for them because then they've seen what you've paid. They have a copy of your receipt. And that's another way um, for stores that they don't get data from that you would then not have to submit your receipt if you paid with the Ibotta app. So it's something else to consider um, in terms of going that route. I don't know um, that long term that's going to be the best option. Uh, it just We're just going to have to see what that looks like when they roll it out. But that's what their plan is in rolling it out for sure. Um, okay. So to jump back, um, and I think I caught everybody's, um, oh, and uh, S. Farley on the YouTube site is saying, Ibotta has chat, chat reps now. I used it today, and it was so much easier and quicker. Um, that's awesome. All of these companies that are bringing in chat, box, chat bots, um, they're usually a lot faster. They kind of streamline the process, so I'm glad to hear that uh, and that you were happy with that. Some people do not like chat bots, but... Um, that you were happy with it and felt like it, it solved the problem is great. Okay, um, to jump into a few other things, um, going paperless through Ibotta is huge. Saving Star does have paperless stores as well. CVS is actually paperless and Saving Star, not paperless in Ibotta, but using those paperless stores is saving you time. As long as you've locked or saved the offer, um, then you're good. Go in, buy the item, and don't think about it. Now, in terms of those matchups, they're on your shopping list. Anytime that I know of a mobile app and um, other coupons that pay are in, they're all going to be listed there. So folks will always ask, how do I know that these all go to... It's right there. That's the goal, to make it as simple as I possibly can uh, for you. Um, so uh, Heidi and Darlene, Saving Star versus Ibotta. Ibotta has way more offers than Saving Star, uh, and Ibotta is a, has limits that are much higher. So most Saving Star offers of the 40 or so that they have are all just a limit one, one time, gone after that. Ibotta's are usually all limit three, limit five. Um, so you're going to end up earning a lot faster with Ibotta than you are with Saving Star. So if you're trying to just pick one, I would pick Ibotta. You're going to you're going to have way more offers by picking Ibotta. Uh, it's fine to use both of them, though, and we do see some overlap of similar offers that are in both systems, and you can use them both. Ragu is an example. There is a saving star for Ragu. There is an Ibotta for Ragu. There's a printable coupon for Ragu. You see where this is going. Uh, there's a cartwheel. So that's where the Target deal comes in and becomes crazy good price. Um, you can do that. Okay. Um, I put Publix, my Publix number in Ibotta, and I got all my rebates as I should, plus the bonus. And I also have Kroger in there, too, and it, it works fine. So that was Karen chiming in. I think if you guys just just try it, um, I think you'll find that it you're not going to have a lot of issues with it. Um, and they've worked out a lot of kinks. So hopefully you'll be good. Um, oh, yeah, and thanks, Paige, for reminding me. So if you are still on a paper receipt and you're worried about missing uh, Ibotta's and Saving Stars that you're going to need to go home and, and upload, um, get out your highlighter when you are cutting your coupons and just highlight. All you need to do is just highlight a little piece. You don't have to highlight the whole line, but just make a little dot something to grab your attention and that's going to help you to remember that those have mobile apps. That's all you're doing. It's just marking the mobile app so that when I get home, I can quickly look at this and go, oh, wait, before I put these up, I need these items because you're going to have to scan the barcode on the back of them. Um, I need these items so that I could submit 
these receipts to Chuckle 51 or Saving Star. Uh, you know, you get the idea. But highlighting them on your um, shopping list is going to just save you a little bit of time. Um, oh, how do I submit a receipt for Publix if I forgot to put my phone number in at checkout? So Sheila, that is a I bought a help question. I am not sure, but I would hope that they would have a way through their chat system for you to be able to email them the receipt if you forgot to uh, enter your phone number at the register. So you're going to have to go through, and so you click on account uh, down in the bottom corner, and then after account, you can click on help and just send them a message, uh, and hopefully they'll get back to you pretty quick. Um, yeah, and then you can always use Fetch Rewards on top of all of that. So if you haven't already Fetch Rewards uh, and the Fetch Rewards app, uh, actually through um, tomorrow, Fetch Rewards is offering a bonus. So I will um, I will mention that. Um, but if you have not started using Fetch Rewards, this is one that all you do is scan your receipts and it, it basically gives you points for every receipt that you scan. Whether you bought these particular items or not, you still earn points. And then you can use your points for rewards. And with rewards, all you need is like, no, I don't know, um, 3,000 points and you can get a $3 gift card back. Um, right now, Fetch is running a bonus. So if you want, you can enter my, my code. I won't complain at all. Um, but if you enter uh, no rec, uh, let's see, uh, and I didn't mean to, um, let's see, I, I think that went out to everybody, but if you enter N0REC, um, that's mine, and then you scan, before you scan your first receipt and fetch, uh, you'll get 4,000 bonus points. That's what they're currently offering through tomorrow, which is enough to get an Amazon gift card without having to purchase any of these items. And they do run some fun ones. So I don't know if you have these in your account, but right now, if I buy any Kotex U, I get 100% back in points. Uh, if I buy any Kleenex wet wipes, I get 100% back in points. Uh, these do vary for folks. I also get 1,000 points for buying Kleenex three packs. Um, so these points, 1,000 points equals a dollar, uh, but it's just a great way to earn some more money just by taking a picture of your receipt. Uh, there's not a ton of special offers in there. I mean, it, does look kind of full right now, but it's maybe 20 in the whole thing. Most of what you're earning points from is just taking a picture of your receipt after you're done shopping. Okay, uh, and that bonus, by the way, the 4,000 extra points ends tomorrow night. So if you did want to grab it, uh, you would want to do that. I think their regular bonus, if you use the same no rec code, is normally 2,000. Uh, and then fetch to redeem, you just click on rewards and pick the reward you want. Uh, and there's a lot there. So you pick the gift card you want uh, and you pick the total points you want to use. So um, there's probably a hundred plus different gift cards to choose from. I, I shared last week that I took my two big girls to see a movie. So we redeemed for a $15 Amazon gift card and that pretty much paid for a matinee for the three of us. So you can grab anything that you're trying to do. And that was a pretty fun one to basically pay some change um, to go see a movie. Okay, um, let's see. I think we've mostly caught up with everybody's questions. So to hit a few other things, um, yes. So one other thing to hit on, if you haven't already, uh, lately I feel like when we have been doing Q&As, there have been a lot of people that are popping on that don't regularly use Southern Savers or haven't. So if you aren't already, you should be using the database that is on Southern Savers if you need a coupon for something right now. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to um, get myself out of the picture for you guys. But um, with, let's see, oh, sorry. I can. I think I can make myself smaller. Um, okay, so with this, when you are using the database, you can type in anything you want. If you need peanut butter, type in peanut butter and it's gonna show you all the coupons and it might show you some peanut butter Nature Valley bars first, um, but it's gonna show you a lot. If I just wanna see printables, I can type that in too, just the word printable and it's gonna know it. If I want um, to see all the Publix e-coupons, I could type in Publix uh, e-coupon, don't type in the S, and it's gonna pull just that. So anything that's in this whole type up, it's smart enough to sit there and do. 
guys that shop at Harris Teeter, if you haven't done this already, $2 off. Harris Teeter's running super doubles. Ignore all the, the 250s um, and the 20s that show up, but you are going to be able to quickly have all your $2 off coupons once you get past the 250s. Um, there we go. Everything that's $2 off, and it'll be right there for you. Or go $2 off and the word printable, um, and you're going to find even more so. So if I'm trying to get ready for super doubles, this is it. It's just a massive list of $2 off printable coupons. Um, so use this uh, to go to town. You can also filter by type if you want to. So I've been typing in the word printable or you can type in, um, insert doesn't work, but you could type in the SS or the RMN. But here, if I just wanted to look at insert coupons, I could. Um, got to take out the printable. But now I've got all the $2 coupons that were in recent inserts. So use the database. It's a huge help for you. Uh, one other quick tip, I've shared this in the past, but if you organize your coupons the way that I do, uh, and this week I've got to get my coupons from that you know just came in the mail, each week I take one out. It's always the one that's in the front, um, and I move it to the back and put this week in its place. But this guy that needs to come out today, um, I'll show you. We'll do it right here together. So when I take him out, I look at the front. The front is 113. That's how old it is. And type that in. So SS113. There you go. That is the only coupon that is left in the insert that is still any good. Um, so I don't need to sit here and thumb through this whole insert. I, I Everything in it is expired except for that product. I am not going to buy that product, uh, and I'm good to go. There was not an RMN this week, just a smart source on this particular week. So I'm done. But you could, if you if you had had an RMN, uh, you know, you could put that in. Obviously, it's not going to return anything because there wasn't anything in the first place. But if we go on ahead, and let's say we go to the next week. So here's this coming week uh, and what is currently um, still good in the RMN insert from this coming week. But even this has coupons. Three of the five that it returned expire this Saturday. So it's perfect if you have about three uh, or 12 pockets to hold three months worth of inserts. So as one comes out, uh, then one goes in but I don't need to hold on to this any longer. So this week will go in, which was 414, uh, and we're right at that three month mark, and we have everything set, and it just goes in the back. So a really fast way to clean up your inserts uh, and definitely save you some time. Use the database. Uh, it's there to help you uh, and hopefully help you uh, find a ton of offers that you didn't know were there, and to save some time on cleaning up. Um, let's see, oh, to repeat the fetch code. Um, so the fetch code is N0REC, um, and that's just mine. And I also, I've put it in um, the chat too, if you want. So you enter that code when you first download the app, and then go ahead, any receipt from the last 14 days, just go ahead and upload your first receipt before tomorrow night and you'll get an automatic 4,000 points, which is pretty sweet. Um, so once you do that, you're gonna get your own code once you have an account, and you can share that with friends. Um, so when you use my code, I get points too, thank you, uh, and you get points. That's how I took my kids to AMC, was points from y'all. Um, so thank you for letting me take my girls to the movies, um, but the same way. So when you download the app, um, you, We'll get your own code and then you can share that with friends too and you'll get some points and they'll get some points to get started. So, um, you know, get started and you'll enjoy it. Okay. Um, yes, and thank you, Rick. So Rick is pointing out Fetch Rewards is the worst. So they try to have an automated system with Fetch and when you scan a receipt, I'm trying to think if I even have a receipt that's decent to scan. Um, I don't, I, I don't have anything uh, other than a McDonald's receipt from our trip this weekend. Uh, but if you scan a receipt, at, they're going to end up saying, like, we found one thing. But really, you had a lot of other things. You can manually go in and fetch and tell them what you bought and just fix it right then. Uh, I've never had them reject anything that I've fixed with fetch. So they are very easy to correct right in the app yourself. You don't have to notify them or do anything about it. Um, 
Yeah. And then Rick also says that he redeems uh, for Domino's gift cards and then clicks on rewards and pick the type you want. It, it is really, really simple to redeem. Uh, and then you just usually show the gift card right at the register. I don't, uh, I redeemed the AMC one on the way to the movie theater. Um, and then just, they just scanned the barcode right off the phone and we were good to go. So it's pretty simple if you've never used it before uh, and you will be able to right there. So most folks, when they get that 4,000 or the 3,000 bonus or the 4,000 bonus that you'll get right now, go ahead and just redeem for an Amazon gift card, but you could redeem it for anything that you wanted to um, for sure. Um, do you have to print? You do not. So Fetch Rewards will give you the option to print, but I have not ever printed any of them. I always just show the barcode in the store or show the card number in the store. Sometimes I'll even just take a screenshot of it so that I don't have to have the Fetch Rewards app up when I'm in the store either. If I'm redeeming something small, um, we've used one in the past at a Cracker Barrel. It's always worked for them to just scan right off the phone whenever I have. But you could if you wanted to print as well. It doesn't matter. Either way, I just tend to not even think about it until I'm out and about and not near a printer. Um, okay, so to hit on a few other things, I already mentioned it when I showed you the Publix ad, but um, you know, before we wrap up today, we are in the middle of Easter deals week, so some things to grab this week. Ham, baking goods, um, any of those spices, we're seeing crazy good deals on spices. Those are things that I would not go past this week on grabbing um, because they, they don't come back on sale for a while. We will not see them on sale until Thanksgiving, um, usually maybe the beginning of November, but still a really long stretch until the next sale. So please stock up if you want them. Um, the other thing to mention for deals this week uh, the drugstores are running some really good sales between CVS and Walgreens. I know I told you to pick one. Um, we've got free toothpaste in Walgreens. You've got free Aleve in CVS. So, you know, deciding which one you want to go with. If you're brand new, I always recommend CVS over Walgreens. Um, just because Walgreens has two programs to learn and quirks with both of them. Um, but if you feel brave and you want to try it out, then go for it. Walgreens has two different kinds of razors that are free and free toothpaste this week. So that may be enough to get you, you know, in the door and to try it. All of those deals, again, if you pull up the list on Southern Savers, they're right there. Click on the dollar or less tab and you're going to see just the top deals and then you can go to the store. You don't have to put a lot of effort into finding the deals or matching the coupons yourself. That's the goal uh, is that you can come and all the coupons that you need are already just matched in and ready to go once you pick the store that you want to go to at the top. So pick CVS, pick Walgreens, make your shopping list, get your free razors. You no, know, it's a pretty sweet deal uh, all the way around. Um, I do not think that Fetch Rewards expire. I haven't seen any go away on my side. For most of these, um, in terms of mobile apps, they view it as like a 12-month window. If you go dormant after 12 months, then they start to take things away. But most of them, if you've earned them, they're yours to keep. So I think you're going to be fine on any of those mobile apps. Um, yes, I could scan uh, McDonald's. You can scan any fast food. You can scan anything that you've purchased. So I could enter um, this McDonald's receipt and, uh, and go to it if I wanted to. Um, okay. Let's go from here. Um, okay, I think I've caught everybody's questions. Sorry, just trying to read through. It's hard to hard to read and make sure that we're across the board not missing anything. Um, so hopefully this helped you learn a few of the features that we have. I, we didn't even hit on all of them. Uh, a few others, I guess, we could go to. Uh, the big one is right here in item alerts, whether or not you have any of these set up. If there's something that you absolutely love and you want to know every time it comes on sale, you can set up an item alert and you will get that item alert sent in an email every time it is matched in and on a shopping list. So um, if there's something that you really, really need all the time, you know, if I wanted to know every time this Dasani sparkling water was on sale, then I can type it in and click add. Uh, if you want to give up and not know when something's on sale anymore, you can take it right off the list. So I don't need to know when Huggies diapers are on sale anymore. Uh, that's pretty exciting. So it's done and then save your, your profile update and all of your item alerts are right there and ready to go for you. So 
Hopefully tonight helps for some of you. I know for others of you, this was kind of old news and, and not necessarily a, a brand new topic. If you've ever got topics that we can cover, please feel free to send me a Facebook message or a note about them. I'm always glad to go there. Um, I, some people have asked specifically if we could have a night just on keto, which I'm fine with, but I'm not really a keto blogger, so I don't know that that's what everybody would want. Um, but we can definitely have a night on just healthy eating and finding deals on healthy food if we want to go that route too. So you guys let me know um, whatever might be interesting to you. I'm always up for new topics. Uh, I realized the other night that we've been doing Monday night Q&As for over eight years now. It's been a very long time across multiple platforms as things have shut down and changed. Um, so it's always fun to hang out with you guys, but I'm always up for something new if you want to talk about that too. So I hope you guys have a great week. I am not going to do a big public strip this week. It's the same ad, um, but I am going to head to CVS. So I'll pop back on and share all the deals that we grabbed at CVS this week. I already have my list together. Just didn't get there today. So um, hopefully I will get there Wednesday when I head out to go shopping. So if you have any questions, though, feel free to send me a Facebook message or email me at Jenny at SouthernSavers.com, and I'll be glad to try to help. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great night.